What lovely weather we're having. Good morning. Going out to uh, do some uh, cleanup work on some field edges today. Um, it is Monday, December 20th. Um, we finished up with harvest. Uh, harvest went really good. Got some exciting things going on that I can't show you. Um, so. I elected to not film during harvest, don't worry, still don't have a girlfriend, still didn't die. Um, everybody, we had a happy, safe harvest. Um, harvested my first crop, was really happy about that. Um, I got to drive the combine, which is unheard of, so thanks dad for letting me control harvest one day. Um, usually I'm the truck driver, but anywho, um, driving out to a fence line that I'm clearing now. Um, not really sure what you guys can see and what you can't see from this far away, so I'm rambling. I'm going to film when I get closer. Alrighty, now hopefully we're close so you guys can see what the heck we got going on, but um, this was an east-west fence line here that we took out. Um, quite a bunch of trees down there. Um, we actually farmed this side of the fence. Um, well, there wasn't a fence. There was wire, but no fence. Um, we actually farm this side, it's like a 40, um, and we actually own this side, that's how we come to uh, taking this fence line out. Um, and we're taking this uh, north-south fence line out too here, um, hopefully, and we also farm this corn stubble here. So um, less shade here, hopefully that'll be nicer for the crops, um, nicer for the landowner here, because um, we don't own this part either. Um, Hopefully he don't have to clear as many trees off here. And uh, to help keep the trees down, we're kind of hoping that we can farm straight through here. It'll make really nice long rounds for us, and it'll keep the trees down out of the fence line. We're just pushing the uh, box elder trees. Them are, if you know anything about wood, them are junk. Um, we're saving, there's some cherry trees in here, some oak trees in here. Um, some of the good trees, the guy that owns this land here that the trees keep falling on, uh, used to burn wood he don't burn wood anymore but he's gonna make um, some firewood out of it and sell it so um, we're not wasting any good trees I guess put that disclaimer out there oh, you can't see it from here I don't remember if I ever told you guys or not but we bought this uh, excavator I'm not gonna use the H word um, but we bought this excavator from oh the Illinois area hopefully I can Illinois some of you guys um, but anyways bought it this spring um, for the bin project dryer project that we did um, I'm out of breath man I'm gonna check the oil make sure that's okay because we need some oil in here you guys see that looks good from here come on back in the come on Record this in case I fall. <laughs> Perfect. Check some uh, hydraulic oil. Uh, good enough. Coolant. Now yep, we got some. Looks good. Start her up. I don't know how many people know of a fuel filter heater, but. I didn't know that existed till this unit came with it. So that blinks for like two minutes. So I have to sit here while it's cold till that stops blinking and then I can start it. Come on, come on, hurry up. Finally. Alrighty, there we go. I left this, uh, this cherry tree you can see it's a cherry tree because of the way it is. <laughs> That's a, I don't expect most of you to understand that joke because it's a, it's from a, a younger person's time. Anyways, um, 
this is one of the cherry trees that we're gonna I guess you could call it save or whatever we're gonna use for firewood or the uh, neighbor's gonna cut for firewood I'm not gonna cut it um, we cut the stump off and uh, he deals with the brush or we'll we'll even deal with the brush actually uh, he just takes the good wood out of it so that way the whole tree isn't getting wasted um, hopefully you guys can see this well I just dig some of the roots out on some bigger trees like this and push the whole unit right over. Works out really good because then the uh, roots come out like that. You get the stump and everything. If you had these trees cut off, it wouldn't, uh, you'd have a nightmare of a time trying to uh, get all the stumps out. But when you can leverage the, uh, the, the uh, whole tree against the stump like I just did, uh, especially if you get some of the roots dug out before you start pushing. Not necessary, probably wouldn't have even had to up here, but the, uh, I mean, as you can see, the, the ground is getting kind of froze. Hopefully you can see that. Um, the ground is getting kind of froze, so um, it helps a little bit just to dig out the, the stump before you start pushing. I like to send my bucket through all the ground that I clean up here. Um, that way, if there's any stumps that were cut off at ground level that got buried with um, trash or whatever, um, hopefully I find those with this thing rather than finding them with uh, a planter or a combine or anything else that we uh, wouldn't want to run a stump through. This is why I'm kind of rushing. I know I said earlier it's the uh, 20th of December. And uh, when you're in northern Wisconsin, oh, there's a stump. Um, when you're in northern Wisconsin, the 20th of December, um, 2021, this is what the uh, amount of frost is. So um, we're trying to get kind of wrapped up before um, I get totally froze out and can't dig the stumps out because then I'm going to have to see there's a stump. Um, otherwise, I really only got like a couple days left, I think. Gee whiz, that was impressive. It's a big bunch of trees. Alrighty. Please don't fall back on me. <laughs> oh yeah. And knock this dead guy down maybe first. Ooh. Strong roots. There we go. Got one. Like this here, so I'm gonna push him out of the way. Now we'll go way up and over. Perfect. I thought some of you may find some interest in watching me run the controls. Um, just trying to uh, showcase how difficult it is to actually run one of these units. There is, uh, I think I counted them before I started this recording. And uh, there's seven different functions that have two different ways each that I can uh, turn levers and whatnot. So, um, so there's 14 different ways I could press switches in here. And um, just trying to showcase to you guys how difficult my job actually is sitting inside this 68 degree cab on this 24 degree day outside. Um, Pressing buttons. All right, this is, it's getting kind of awkward having you guys stare at me. You, you guys are gonna have to turn around. Okay, I'll, I'll turn you guys around for you. I'm trying my best to uh, capture some of this. It's like netting 
kind of fence scattered in here, buried. Probably some guy that was 400 years old built that fence and now I'm tearing it out, but it's, oh, well, most of it's underground. But just clearing some more land I'm getting. I don't know what time it even is. You guys are maybe bored already. Don't worry, we got some more trees to take down. It's rough riding here too. You guys need an air seat? I don't even have an air seat. Oh, did you guys see that coming? I didn't see that. I think the window's closed. You guys could have got hurt. Basically, those pines way down there, that's as far as I'm going. Um, and then I'll be done clearing this fence line. So I've actually got quite a bit done here. Um, you can see way back, I don't know if you guys can even see the tractor moving back there. Um, that's in the corner where we started. And then you can see the piles along there. <coughs> maybe, maybe not, I don't know, I can't see what you can see. Um, Maybe your eyes are better than mine, but um, we did a fence line there. We did this whole fence line here. Um, oh, yes, there's the, uh, I don't know, I, I guess we call it the ditch. There's a couple trees in there we took out of um, the ditch so we can farm straight through that now. But uh, man, look at that sunset. We're getting her fixed up. It's gonna get a little bit too dark for you guys. So I might have to be done filming with the excavator, but for now, you can enjoy this pretty view of the sunset. Alrighty guys and gals, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video or episode of uh, Killing Trees 101. Um, not sure if you guys had fun, but I certainly had fun. Um, thank you so much for watching. If I don't talk to you between now and then, have a happy holidays. Merry Christmas and Merry New Year something new year's happy new year's um anyways have a good one we'll see you in the next one